guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new and you're stopping by for the first time welcome my name is melissa and i love to do all things farmhouse decor on a budget especially making over dollar tree signs in farmhouse decor and much much more so if that's something that you're interested in i would love it if you would stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and becoming part of the family and then tap the bell and all to be notified every single time i upload I would also appreciate it if you could please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and family if you think that they would enjoy it too because that helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. So for today I have four Dollar Tree DIYs. So with all that being said, let's jump right in. I want to be daring baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To start off, I just gathered up everything that I wanted to recreate today. So first things first, I have this other Dollar Tree canvas. Um, in a previous project, I had this left over. I thought that I would use it and I didn't and it's just the frame. So I took up, if you're taking your canvas, just take a staple puller, pull all the staples out and then the canvas comes out really easily. So I put my gloves on and I have a paper towel and I just take my favorite stain, Jaco Bean, and I stain the front as well as the sides and the inside. You don't have to worry about the back because um, we're going to cover up the back and you're never going to see it anyway. So I just take my paper towel and I just run it across. I get it nice and wet um, and then just stain the part that I want to stain. You can use anything you want to stain like a sock or a rag or a paper towel. Next, I take out 11 popsicle sticks. I only needed 10, but I did paint an extra one just in case I needed it. But I take my white Waverly chalk paint and I just go ahead and I um, paint all the popsicle sticks. And these are large popsicle sticks. You can get them at Walmart. Uh, my husband got me these at Home Depot. They were only 99 cents for a huge pack of them. So I definitely hope always have those in my stash. Now this one is a um, project from a previous video and um, I just didn't really like it anymore. So I just took some white paint and I went over um, what I had already did. Now we're going to put a picture over this. So I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to um, like you could see it through the picture. Had I printed it on cardstock, it really wouldn't have mattered, but I did end up printing it on paper a while ago. So I did just want to make sure that I couldn't see it through my printable. So af while that is drying, I take my other two and I just take some white Waverly chalk paint on the smaller tag. These were out around Christmas time and anytime I see stuff like this, I always grab a bunch of them just because I know I can use that for so many different things. And with Dollar Tree, you just never know if you're gonna see it again. So when I see it, I grab it. So I just paint the small one with the white Waverly chalk paint and then um, I make sure to get the sides because if it's hanging on a wall or wherever, um, unless you like the color of the side, you don't want to see that color showing through. After I had that one painted, I did just take my uh, sandpaper and I sanded off that glitter because I did not want that to be showing through as well after I painted it and then I just vacuumed it up and then took some ink Waverly chalk paint and did the exact same thing I did with the smaller tag. I painted the sides as well as the front and I did want to match mention that I did give all three of these two coats just to be on the safe side. After I painted this one, I did go back on the white square decor piece and I did paint that frame black.
Okay, so after I had the frame painted, I did just want to show you real quick which decor piece this was. I got it back with the Valentine's Day collection, um, but I just set those aside to dry. So we're going to go back to the first project that I started on. Um, if you guys have been around, you know that this is how I just work, just because it's more time efficient to kind of paint everything up while one is drying, go back to another project. So um, a lot of people have commented that you guys work the same too. So I hope I'm not confusing anybody, but I just wanted to mention that. So we're going back to the first one. I take my popsicle sticks and just like the project um, a few videos back, I did just go ahead and hot glue them all the way down again. You only need 10. Start at the very top with the popsicle stick lining up with the top of this frame and you will get exactly 10 large popsicle sticks. Next, I just printed off an N. Um, it's kind of like a monogram for our last name. And then I um, took my graphite paper and I traced that on. My graphite paper that I used is linked down in the description box below in my Amazon favorites. I then take my black paint pen, which I got from Walmart. I will also link these in the description box. And I just go over that letter. I did this with a regular fine paint pen and then I colored it in. If you guys um, just hold down each popsicle stick when you're coming to where it meets the other popsicle stick, it's much easier to trace and um, color in. So again, I did the N without the shadow part with a fine and then I take an ultra fine paint pen in the same brand and I go in between the popsicle sticks just because it has a better point um, where you see kind of like the white where um, the popsicle sticks meet if that makes any sense. I then just take my ultra fine and I do go over that shadow part of the letter. It was really thin and I didn't want to risk not getting it, um, not getting the lines nice and crisp. I then take some floral from Walmart. I always get my floral from Walmart because it's really great quality at a really great price and I believe that this is the eucalyptus, don't quote me, but I just took a bunch of them off of the stems and then I just glue it all the way around the end kind of like a wreath. Now I wish I would have went a little bit further at the top. My end wasn't um, directly center which is okay. Um, I wish it was because I'm kind of OCD and it was driving me crazy but it is what it is. So I just kind of arrange them around. I run a bead of hot glue down the greenery once I know, you know, how I like it. And I, I make sure before I glue it down that it's going to go nice in that spot. And I go all the way around the end. And then once I have one layer around the end, I go around again just because it was kind of bare in some spots. And also it wasn't a complete like perfect circle and then when I did the second uh, layer it did look much much better so if you only have one layer that's fine you know like enough for one layer that's fine it's your personal preference I personally like it to be a bit more fuller I then just take some gingham ribbon and I do go ahead and make a simple bow. I can link in the cards in the right hand corner um, where I show you step by step how to make a simple bow. I then just glue that with some hot glue at the top and that one is done. Next we're going to work on the square, the square decor piece. So I just wanted to measure and then I took this printable you guys, I'm not going to lie, I cannot remember where I got it. I printed this off a while ago, and I had it in my files, so I'm not really sure. But if you just go on Google and um, 
search for farmhouse free printables, you might be able to find it. If you find an image that you like, but it's not a free printable, just uh, right click, hit copy image, and then paste it into Word and you can print it that way. So after I measured it, I did just go ahead and cut it down. I sh probably should have used my paper cutter because my cuts were not straight. I'm not a straight cutter, <laughs> but oh well, it is what it is. After I had it cut out, I did take my disappearing purple glue stick. I like to use this because it doesn't bubble up on me. And then I just um, glued it into my uh, decor piece and then flattened it down with my fingers. Next, I knew that it was kind of missing something, so I did just take some jute and I ran a bead of hot glue at the top and put my jute down and then continued that all the way around the sign. For the corners, just glue all the way to the end and then once you're ready to do the next side, hold your finger on the corner and then it'll um, give enough to go around the corner and then you'll have nice square corners. I then just made a triple bow out of jute and glued that to the top. Now, I wasn't really liking that it was color covering up the farm life, so I did just kind of push up the ends, and then you could see it. And that was it for that one. So, for this next one, the black larger tag, um, I did start out stenciling. I had this stencil, and I can't remember where I got it. I believe I got it from Michaels. I'm not a really big fan of the plastic stencils, just because they're kind of a pain to keep down, and then they bleed. You can see here that it's not very crisp, and I don't really like that. So next, I take the fresh part, and I do just go ahead and trace with a pencil and go over that. Now, this fresh did not fit straight across, so I did just have to angle it a bit, which I honestly like that look anyway, so it wasn't a big deal to me. I then take my white paint pen, and I do go over that fresh. Um, sometimes white paint pens don't work very good. This one was not working for me this day, so you'll see how to fix that in a minute. I then had these stencils from Chalk Couture, and I just wanted to use the cowl, so I did just lay that cowl down and then trace that on. After I had my cow done, I wanted to put a chicken on the smaller tag, so again, this is from Chalk Couture, and I did just take the chicken. I didn't want any of the wording, and I did take some Ink Waverly chalk paint, and then I stenciled that one down, and I just love the detail on this chicken. Next, I am taking some black uh, Waverly chalk paint, and I just go around the edges with some dry brushing. Um, these are chip brushes I've been saying for the longest time natural bristle brushes but they're actually chip brushes and I will have these linked down below I have found that these are the best for distressing and I get them from Walmart in a pack of eight for around five bucks so it's a really good deal and I do rinse them out and reuse them so I don't like when um, you use a stencil and the letters are um they have those little spaces in them so i do just take a very small paintbrush and some white waverly chalk paint and i do go over those spaces just to make the letters look whole so like i said my white paint pen was not cooperating with me so i did just go back over it with that same very very small paintbrush and i went over those letters and you can't even really tell that my paint pen wasn't working too good. Next, I just take some painter's tape on the end of some jute, as well as these unfinished wooden beads. These are also linked down in my Amazon favorites. You get a bunch of them at a really good price. 
So I then just um, use the paint, pa the painter's tape to be able to go through the beads much easier. I did put six beads on the larger tag. And honestly, I wish that I would have just put a few less, but it depends where you're hanging it. The space where I was hanging it um, needed to be a bit shorter, but no big deal. So after I have the beads on there, I tie it to the tag and then snip the end and then make a loop at the top for hanging and then cut that off. I did the exact same thing for the smaller tag. I just did five beads on that one. And then for these, just to finish them off, um, this ribbon is linked down below, the gingham ribbon. I glued that on and made a small bow, glued it on. And then for the black sign, I had this ribbon left over from Christmas and it's just a natural color and I loved it. I thought it looked really good on the black. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys love my signs. I love making these signs. There's just so many different options. And you guys know that I love farmhouse. I cannot get away from it. You know, I don't really like doing the whole holiday themes and stuff for Christmas and Thanksgiving is a little bit different. But farmhouse is my go-to. And I hope you guys love the projects that I bring to you because I really love doing them for you. So let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite, which ones will you be recreating, and if you guys have any video requests, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.